This is Dr. Matt Ward, and I'm going to show you how to make sterile eye drops using the Palakit from Aseptikits. This is an innovative solution to laminar flow hoods that I've been using in my cornea practice. It's essentially a patented laminar flow hood in a bag, where the bag is a closed system that has been pre-sterilized, enabling technique-independent manipulation of solutions within the bag. Interaction with the bag uh, from the outside is through a 0.2 micron filter so that solutions can be considered sterile once inside the bag environment. And finally, all the contents of the kit have been previously FDA approved and fall within their guidelines for convenience kits. Here's the sterile bag and there is a 0.9 micron filter for larger particles and then a 0.2 micron sterilizing grade filter uh, that's coupled to the bag in a way that permits interaction with the outside while preserving sterility inside. There's a nozzle on the interior of the filter with wings that facilitate filling of the eye drop bottles. And when all the bottles have been filled and sealed, the bag can be peeled and opened, exposing the contents to the non-sterile environment for the first time. Today I'm compounding vancomycin. I've taken my recipe from the American Pharmacists Association guide for ophthalmic preparations and here, it's a 50 milligram per milliliter solution. I'm going to dilute 50%, so it'll be 25 milligrams per milliliter. So I start by removing the tamper-proof uh, seal, so we know everything inside is just as it was packed by the company. There's two separate parts. There's the bag, sterile bag, um, and then there's also the kit uh, for preparing the antibiotics. This includes saline as well as two 60cc uh, syringes. And I try to observe clean technique with gloves and wiping down the surfaces of the vials and things. So this is vancomycin, 500 milligrams lyophilized, which I will reconstitute using 10 milliliters of normal saline. I shake the solution until it becomes clear and there's no visible particulate and then withdraw those 10 cc's back. And so this yields a 10 cc's of a 50 milligram per milliliter solution. I'm making four 10 milliliter bottles so I'm, I'm going to put this first this first 10 cc's into the 60 ml syringe and then I'm going to draw up a second 10 cc's in the same way and then I'm going to put that in the 60 cc syringe as well using this female female adapter so now I have 20 cc's of 50 milligram per milliliter solution I want to dilute that um, with 20 additional cc's of normal saline and so I'll use the other um, normal saline uh, syringes here. So that was 40 milligram or 40 cc's of antibiotic solution. I couple the two 60 cc syringes just to achieve a good mix of the solution. And kind of move it back and forth or four times and now I have exactly 40 cc's of 25 milligram per milliliter solution. I throw away the the used syringes and vials and then open the sterile bag system, filtration system. I couple it to the 0.9 micron filter which is then coupled to the sterilizing grade 0.2 micron filter and I push 10 cc's per bottle through the filter into each eye drop bottle. And there's some resistance there, but it flows pretty well. Working around clockwise so I know where I've been and where I need to go. And when the final bottle is filled, throw away the syringe and remove my gloves. It's easier to cap the bottles without gloves on and, and then um, you can manipulate the caps ex from the exterior without actually touching or contaminating anything and then twisting the caps on. I, I twist until I feel a couple of clicks which tells me that I'm 
almost completely sealed. And I do that for each cap. So we've got four bottles of 25 milligram per milliliter of vancomycin here. And then when all the caps are on, I, I take out, I open the bag and take them out and, and tighten them an additional two or three clicks just to get it nice and snug. So nothing has been within those bottles has been exposed to any non-sterile environment. I label each one with the solution that is there as well as the date that the solution was made. And if I'm giving it to a patient that day, I might just put it straight into the Ziploc on ice and then into the insulated packaging so that they can take it home and put it in their fridge. This is Matt Ward. Thank you very much.